Hello dear fellow writers and readers, I'm George Watt speaking to you from Adelaide in South Australia. I couldn't be happier that my novel, which has been 35 years in the making, The Finley Confession, has been selected as a finalist for the Proverse Prize of 2020. Now a little bit about the novel. It is largely set in 1960 in a sleepy community in rural New South Wales, which is about to undergo a massive transformation at the hands of the uh, gargantuan snowy mountain scheme. So while it's a novel about socio-economic change, uh, it is also a novel which belongs to the mystery genre, for as the action unfolds, the reader must find explanations for dramatic events that happen along the way. It's also a coming-of-age narrative, examining the psychological perplexities of four very disparate youths thrown together uh, as the only 18-year-olds in the small community. They include the heir of a very wealthy landowner, the highly eccentric offspring of two Canberra academics, and at the opposite end of the economic and social scale, the son of the local garage proprietor and an half-Aboriginal boy. These four characters have enough trouble working out how to understand themselves, let alone how to relate to each other. But all hell breaks loose when a catalyst arrives on the scene in the form of a glamorous singer who comes to perform at the only major hotel in the region. Before signing off, I'd like to give special thanks first to the editors of Proverse for their extraordinary promotion of new writing and surviving in these difficult COVID times. I'd also like to thank Sandra Lindemann, who correctly, uh, critically read the drafts of the novel along the way. And finally, to uh, the generous McKinnon family, who several times allowed me to use their holiday cottage in the very town where the novel is set. Uh, thank you for listening. Good fortune to my fellow writers. And for the moment, goodbye.